what? Hi friends, welcome to episode seven of the Winter Arc series. We got two upgrades today. I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. Um, I wanted to upgrade my vlogging lens for YouTube. Right now I'm shooting on my Sony 6700 and I'm using the kit lens that comes with it. This is the 16 to 50 kit lens. And I currently have the 11 millimeter at home, a Sony lens, and that one is a fixed lens, which I typically use for vlogging, which is great for wide angle, but sometimes it's just too much of a fixed lens and I just need to be able to have that, you know, zoom feature on it. Did a little bit of research on some lenses and I picked up two to add to my collection, which I'm really excited for because that means we're upgrading the vlogs and we're upgrading the gym content on Instagram for my app, for YouTube. I just, I'm so excited. These look so crispy. The first one that I got is the 18 to, or 10 to 18 millimeter. This is from Sigma. It's the F2.8, which when you have that lower f-stop, that's what's gonna give you that really nice bokeh. I have this Sony, not Sony, Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4, I wanna say. And that one, literally so crispy, it's unreal. But again, that one's a fixed lens, so I don't typically use it too often. So I wanted something for wide angle vlogging because the 11 millimeter that I've been using is again a fixed lens and I needed something with a little bit more zoom range. So let's pop this on. I wanna show you guys what this one looks like. These are both pretty, I wanna, I wanna be careful when I say affordable because they're obviously like expensive lenses in a sense, but they are more so affordable than a lot of the other lenses that are out there. It's more of like a budget friendly kind of lens. So I am excited for this wide angle. This is gonna be the upgrade for the YouTube vlogs. And Sigma, I just, I love the quality of their lenses so much. And I just, oh, I cannot wait to shoot with this. This is just getting me so excited to film more content for you guys. This is what it looks like. This is the size of it. So still like pretty decently compact. When I used to film on my Canon M6 Mark II, that was like my everyday vlogging camera. That one was amazing. I had the 11 to 50 millimeter. And I didn't love that you had to like lock and unlock it every single time I filmed, but that was a fantastic setup. I feel like so many people use that on YouTube, but with my Sony being my primary camera now, I needed a similar lens for it. And the Sony one, the price point was just where I wanted to be at for another lens right now. So this, I want to, I want to say this one was around 550 or this one was closer to 600. They both had a $50 rebate, so it brought $100 off my total, which was fantastic. But let's pop this on and I'll show you guys what this one looks like. As you can see, we have a much wider angle. Now I'm not sitting as close to you guys. This is at 10 millimeters, which is actually further away than my 11 that I have. And then we can slowly zoom in here. I'm doing this so slowly. <laughs> All right, as we zoom in, still keeps that wide angle which is awesome you see a little bit more and this has a low f-stop i don't have it on the lowest f-stop right now dropping it down to the 2.8 and you can see i think you can see it that it blurs the background a little bit more especially when i'm closer to the camera so this is going to be the new vlogging lens that you guys are going to see i cannot wait i'm going to be vlogging a lot more i'm just Anytime I get a new lens, a new camera, it just brings me so much more inspiration and I'm literally so excited about it. Okay, second lens that we have. This one is going to be my new lens for fitness content. This is what I'm gonna bring to the gym instead of this one, which is the kit lens that I have been using. This one is a fantastic lens, especially if you are just starting out and you're buying any of the Sony cameras and you're getting one with just the kit lens. This is what I've been using to film all of my gym content with this camera. Given the settings and everything are a little bit different on this camera versus like some of the other ones, but overall this is a fantastic starter lens, especially if you're trying to get into content. Like this is still perfect for vlogging. The setup for pretty much every Sony camera is fantastic. I, I've i just, I've been falling in love with more Sony stuff, I won't lie. And I used to be on the low a big Sony hater because I just didn't, I didn't understand a lot of the 
color correcting and all that kind of stuff. Now I am leaning more towards Sony than my Canon stuff, which I never thought I would say. I never thought I would dive into being a Sony girl, but here we are. Okay, second lens that we have, this is also from Sigma. Sigma lenses are just fantastic. Anything Sigma is pretty much gonna be so freaking solid and amazing. This is the 18 to 50, again, with a low f-stop. Honestly, what I was looking for in a lens for gym content, something that I can blur out the background, like I said, that smaller f-stop is gonna give you more of that bokeh, and I wanted to be able to blur out like a lot of the people that can kind of get in the back of my gym content, just because I don't want everyone's face, obviously, to be like clear as day. I do my best to try to make sure that I'm not getting other people in my content, but sometimes when the gym is busy, I can't control that, especially because my lens doesn't have that like blurring and bokeh effect on it, but something like this is definitely gonna have a little bit with that, and it has a similar focal range to the lens that I've already been using. So this one is 16 to 50, and then this one is 18 to 50. And it has that low f-stop. So let me show you guys what this lens looks like on the camera. We're gonna pop this one off and put the other one on so I can show you. All right, this camera is kind of getting weighed down, but do you see the bokeh effect? Or I meant the lens, because the lens is a lot longer. Let me zoom out a little, or no, I can only zoom in on this. Look at this zoom. Look at this zoom. Hi. <laughs> this is going to be my go-to when it comes to fitness content because of the zoom range and because of obviously how I film my content. But the freaking bokeh on this. This makes me want to go to the gym today and film content, but I just... I need to rest. I'm not feeling the best today, so we're taking it as a rest day, but I will bring you guys to the gym tomorrow to film with this thing because it's freaking crispy. I'm I'm so excited. I will link both of these down below, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys kind of like my setup and everything um, for gym vlogs in case you guys were curious and YouTube stuff and just share what I'm currently using since the quality is going to be a lot different. Okay, it is the next day. I've been waiting for my new memory card to arrive. It's finally here. We're filming on it now. I have been using 128 gigabyte memory card. And I finally got a 256. So we have a lot more room for footage on here, which I'm excited for, because I felt like I kept running out of space so quickly. But now at least I can have like a YouTube and a fitness one. We're gonna head off to the gym. The outfit that we have for today, top is from Aloe. This is also Aloe, Aloe. And then I have on these leggings from TLF. They match the top, and then I think I'm actually gonna throw on my white Converse. Those are just like my go-to, but I'm gonna put on taller socks really quick, and then throw on the Converse, we're gonna go work out. We've got an upper body push day, so I'm gonna film for both YouTube and for my app for you guys. Thursdays are basically my Fridays when it comes to work. Like in my work week, that's my break, so I have Thursday, like the rest of Thursday and Friday off since I work so early on Thursdays, it basically feels like I kind of have the whole day off in the end. So I honestly look forward to Thursday throughout the entire week because I get Friday a full day off and then I get Sundays off, which is so nice. On Saturday, I am teaching in the morning and then my friend and I are gonna meet up at her new gym that she started going to. And we're gonna hit a leg day, which I'm really excited for. I have never been to that gym. Uh, and she said the equipment there is just like so nice. So I cannot wait to try that out. We're gonna film whatever workout that we come up with for our leg day that day. She's like raving about the equipment and the gym every time that she goes. So I'm actually really freaking excited to go ahead a good leg day. Where did my other sock go? Am I blind? I swear I brought two up here. Oh. So I think I might actually take tomorrow off of the gym as well. We're sticking to the plan, which has been at least two lower, two upper body days, which I have already hit one upper body this week and two lower body. So I'm gonna take tomorrow off so that way I can hit lower again on Saturday without like overdoing it. So Friday and Sunday will be my rest days for this week. I did more of a pull day on Tuesday. We did back buys, a little bit of shoulders. So today is gonna be more so push day focused. My socks are so uneven, I need to fix this. I'm honestly so excited to test out the new lens today. We'll see what kind of footage we get, but all right. 
Full fit, high top converse, that's the fit, we're off. I literally didn't even notice that he snagged my socks off of the couch. Give him back, drop him. Drop the socks, thank you. <laughs> okay, now we go to the gym. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. gym making myself some I guess I guess this is lunch at this point I don't know why the lighting is so dark but most important thing that you can do after your workout is fuel your body properly make sure you you are eating especially as your body puts on more muscle you are gonna feel hungrier because your basal metabolic rate I don't know why I could not think of that <laughs> Essentially, it is the minimum number of calories that your body needs to function while you're at rest. So as you're putting on more muscle, your body is constantly burning more calories throughout the day and you're gonna feel hungrier, especially when you have more muscle in your body, so you're gonna need to eat more. Someone talked about this in my comment section and they were like, you were like super right about that. Like I noticed that I'm hungrier. Make sure you're fueling your body, fueling your muscles and giving your body what it needs to actually continue to grow, especially if your goal is to be putting on muscle, you should absolutely be prioritizing protein. That's really gonna help. I also do not track anything. I did have someone DM me and ask me about that as well. I don't track anything. I pretty much do my best to just eat intuitively. I know I get a good amount of protein in with my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so I haven't had any issues with that, but eventually that just kind of comes with the nature of like working out and eating right, and making sure that you're getting your protein in. In the very beginning, I never actually like tracked everything, but I was very, very aware of how much protein I was getting in a day. And I was constantly supplementing with protein shakes because I was the kind of person that was very, very thin. I had a hard time putting on muscle. So I needed to up my protein intake so, so much. And so the easiest way to do that, protein shakes. I personally don't do that anymore. <coughs> 
because I like to try to get all of my protein from just like whole foods, but protein shakes and supplements are not bad. They are a great tool to use. It's just something that I don't use in my day to day. What's gonna work for you if you know that you're not getting enough protein in, supplement it with some protein shakes. If that's what's gonna help you, by all means, do it. Okay, I am making myself some eggs. Okay, I'm gonna eat these. I gotta cook my ground beef in here, which is now gonna be filled with some egg. So that's fun. <laughs> um, I'm just so freaking hungry. So we have eggs and cottage cheese. Absolutely forgot to season those. So I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on these. But I'm also gonna do ground beef and sweet potatoes. And I'm gonna cook the ground beef in just some taco seasoning and have that over some sweet potatoes and then probably add some more cheese sprinkled on the top. I'm broiling the sweet potatoes that I made earlier in the week because they just weren't crispy enough. The last time that I made this, I think I told you guys that already, they just needed to be crispier. So I'm gonna broil them and then cook some of that ground beef and then just pop that over top. I had such a good workout. I realized I filmed everything in the wrong setting though on my camera. So next time I go to the gym, I will do better with my settings, but we still got the footage and I think it turned out really well. I'm gonna sit and look at it after I take a shower, but we gotta do a full shower and that's always just such a process. Okay, second half of breakfast, we have the broiled sweet potatoes. So we have our base. Something I would also totally add in is um, lime juice and, oh I have, I don't have any lime, but I do have Greek yogurt, which I'm gonna add on top as like sour cream. I don't typically eat sour cream, but that's my version of sour cream. It tastes the same to me. Plus there's also so much good protein in Greek yogurt. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top and there we have my second, uh, my second meal. Honestly, the egg would have gone perfectly fine on top of this. I was just way too impatient <laughs> to wait for everything to be done. Okay, and then more of the Mexican style cheese blend from Trader Joe's. And there we have it. Breakfast or lunch number two, I guess. This would definitely be better with a little bit of lime, but that's all right. Good enough for me. We're done with food. I have a sweater that I got from Amazon that I want to show you guys. Hopefully it's cute. This is what it looks like. This literally took like three weeks to get here, so I hope it's cute. Otherwise it's going right back. It does feel really soft. We love soft sweaters. I hate itchy sweaters. They're just not the vibe. This literally feels like a blanket. I don't put it on because I'm like kind of gross from the gym, but you can, oh, it literally feels like the blankets that I have on my couch. How cute is this though? I got it in size small. I'll link it for you. Just be aware that it takes forever to ship. But this with like some light blue jeans would look so cute. I'm excited. Upping my sweater collection this year. Not that I really get dressed up that often, but you know when I do. Okay, I have another box I forgot about that I wanna unbox with you guys. Whoa. Okay, this is from Philosophy. How cute is this? I have no idea how I got on their PR list or what this is for, but this is so cute. I feel like I need to take a photo before I actually like open it. Let's see what this is. I like little books. Oh, and different steps. Okay, so this is step five, brighten, transform your skin in 30 days. Wow. Okay, I opened it in the wrong order, but this is the last step. I really hope I'm not allergic to any of this. I would love to use some of this stuff. Okay, we have step one and two, cleanse and treat. This is such a cute little idea. And then we have these in here. So we have their facial cleanser, and then their reactivating serum. And the last one that we have in here, this is their eye cream and moisturizer. 
Wow, thank you so much, Philosophy. Literally, it's so fun with the packaging. Love that. Cannot wait to try that out. Okay, out of the shower, I'm gonna drink my greens because I forgot to do that this morning. I always forget that by like one-ish, I've basically like lived an entire day at this point because I've been up so early, especially on Thursdays. So I try not to be too hard on myself when I start to get tired by like the middle of the day. I'm spinning my green powder everywhere. I'm trying to get this thing open. <laughs> I talked about these greens, I think in the last vlog, um, not sponsored, but I do work with uh, Rookie and I love their stuff. You guys know I love their um, sleep supplement. I take that every single night. These are the ones that I bought at Sprouts um, last time. The greens are $64, I think is what I paid um, at Sprouts. And then if you order, you can buy them at Sprouts if you have like Sprouts close to you and you wanna try them out. Um, but if you wanna order them online, you can also use my discount code. It's Katie June Fit. I forget how much it takes off, but you get to save a little bit on your order. I'm gonna drink some greens and then I'm gonna sit on the couch and I'm gonna watch my brain. My brain is... <laughs> Not working today. Outer Banks, the last half of season four is season five finally out. No, season four, because I think they just renewed for season five and then that's gonna be their last season. So I'm gonna sit and watch probably, I'll probably watch all of the episodes today. Like I said, today is like my Friday and I cannot wait to just sit my butt on the couch and not really do anything the rest of the day. It's just gonna feel so good to decompress from this work week. It's just felt like every single day of the week has been busy from sun up till sundown and I like haven't had any time to just sit and be present with myself and like fill my cup. So that's what we are doing for the rest of the afternoon and evening. I wanna to touch on the topic of consistency because I feel like I get this question a lot on either YouTube or in my DMs when it comes to, for the most part, it's fitness or waking up early, sticking to my routines, um, consistency in many different aspects of my life. But most importantly, I get a lot of questions about it when it comes to fitness um, and that's what we're bringing back to in all of these Winter Arc Series vlogs. So consistency for me when it comes to quite literally anything in my life. I make it almost effortless to be consistent in a sense. So for example, in the mornings, um, one little random thing that I do every single morning is I take my pre and probiotic. I set it out, I make it easy for myself, I see it when I come over to my coffee machine, I remember that I need to take it as soon as I start to like make my coffee, it makes it easy to be consistent and remember to take it every single morning. With the gym, um, I make time for it. Obviously it's not gonna be as easy to be consistent when you're first starting out, but that's why I say you need to pick a routine that is gonna be something that can fit into your schedule. You can't expect to be working out five, six days a week if you are someone who doesn't go to the gym and you haven't been going to the gym. I say set a very small, very realistic goal to start and build on that. That's the only way that you're gonna be able to build on the consistency and continue the good habits. So if you start going, um, you make a goal to go at least once a week. Say you go once a week for like three weeks and you feel really good about that and then you are able to make time for a second day of the week and going to the gym twice in one week and then you can stay consistent with that. Like it'll be so much easier to build onto it. Start with small goals, start with making them easy and something that's gonna work into your schedule. For example, me going to the gym, it works for me mostly because like I try to film um, like middle of the day and what that means for me is I come home from work I let myself like decompress for a little bit and then I put on or I already have my gym clothes on sometimes from work I'll have clothes that I'm putting on or I have the same clothes already on and I know that I'm gonna get my butt to the gym once I give myself like an hour to decompress and be to myself before I go to the gym and f like fill up my cup a little bit more if that makes sense I am making it an easy part of my routine to where it's not something that is gonna be so far off from my usual 
to the point where I'm not gonna want to go or where I just won't have the motivation to do it. Yes, I do have those days where I don't wanna go to the gym. Sometimes I push through and I will show up. Some days I just say, whatever and I don't go to the gym and that is totally okay too and that's why I have a very specific split and workout schedule for myself that allows me those days to just not go if I really don't want to because I know I still have days left in the week to go and get it done if I don't go that day. So think about that when you are planning out your workout routine, what you want to do, what you want to hit, what your goals are, like there's so many things that go into it that will be able to make like the perfect workout schedule for you and for yourself. I hope that helps. Okay, I'm gonna sip on my greens and we're gonna watch Outer Banks. <laughs> 